you met Jay-Z twice. Uh, discuss meeting Jay-Z. Recount those stories, uh, meeting Jay-Z. Uh, first time I met him, I did an interview with uh, Tamia, uh, Grant Hill's wife, uh, for a magazine. And he walked into the, uh, into the restaurant. And, you know, I, I was excited. And I was like, yo, Jay, man, I'm a big fan and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he kind of, like, acknowledged. He was like, it, it was more of a, like, nigga, whatever type attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he just had that attitude. So, you know, that was mm -hmm. a little disappointing. Uh, and then the, uh, it was the second time. Second time I met him. Uh, this was, this was the, the better experience. Because, you know, back then, I was kind of just starting to come up. But I, I wasn't really established. Uh, but I don't know actually the second time I met him uh, I, I went to go see the concert he did at the Staples Center and I went with uh, Red Man I was hanging out with Red Man a little bit earlier and it was hell smoke for her talking some shit and as I went into the, where all the dressing rooms were he, his door had just swung open and he was coming out had a powder blue baby suit on kind of had like a scar face thing going on white scarf around his neck fedora tilted and he was like game time game time and he's walking out with his crew and i kind of gave him what's up kind of nodded back but again he was on his shit so it was kind of what the best experience but the third time i met him oh he met three times the, uh, floyd mayweather manny pacquiao fight in vegas and it, and it was so set up where everybody that left the fight out of the arena kind of was ushered into the same area so you had a bunch of, you know, regular folk, damn to rub his shoulders with big time stars. And I remember uh, AI was walking and there was a lot of people, oh my God, Alan Iverson, Alan Iverson. And then at that moment, Jay-Z and Beyonce came out and the, and, the, and the crowd went from AI to rushing them. And it just so happened like the way that we merged as, as we was walking, I kind of just intersected right next to Hove and Beyonce. And I said, Yo, Hove, man, I'm a fan, dog. I love your thing. And he looked over at me and he said, And now I'm, I'm me now. And he goes, I know who you are, nigga. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, obviously the way he said it, you know, he might have caught, you know, I make jokes, man. I'm a comedy. I make jokes. <laughs> so he, he might have caught one of my jokes that wasn't too flattering of him. Uh, <laughs> Gave it to me the way gave it to me. Uh, it, uh, so so let's go with the, the Nas meeting. Uh, let's go with the Nas meeting then. The Nas meeting uh, was 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 everything the opposite of the Jay meeting, mm. uh, which was awesome because again I'm a Nas fan. So I was at the Laugh Factory uh, oh, one yeah. night. Favorite artist. When it was kind of like it was Black Night comedy wise, and I saw Khalees upstairs in the balcony. And there's two levels to the last back here in LA, the balcony and the main area downstairs. So I saw Khalees and I was like, yo, I just want to tell you, I, I, I'm I, such a fan of your husband. I think he's shit. And she was like, yo, he loves you. He's downstairs. I was like, word. So I went downstairs. I looked around. The downstairs area ain't but so big. I looked around and my man is sitting there like pure Nas, hoodie on. In a corner by himself, had a, had a glass of yak, this the blunt chilling. And I, you know, I always say when you meet your heroes, proceed with caution. Yeah, you gotta be cool. Yeah. So I'm cautiously like, yo, Nas, I don't wanna bother you. I just wanna tell you. And before I could get another word out, he pulled me in and was like, yo, God, I'm a fed God, you that dude, God, word up. Then that fast <laughs> me, Nas. Yeah. You know, up, son, you that nigga gone for real. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm inside. I'm trying to keep my composure. But inside, <laughs> I'm losing it. Because I think this is one of the greatest MCs ever. So I go outside, yeah. I call my boys. I'm like, yo, this nigga, I know who I am. So yeah, that's that. I, that's one thing I like about Nas, man. Just throughout the years, he's the same dude. I mean, now he got it, kind of got his little dread, his, his braids or whatnot. But for the most part, he's remained Nas throughout the years. That's what I like about Nas. Right. Right. Yeah, he, he, he's uh, he, he's a real down to earth cat, man. But that's always been him. Orlandez is an examination of community. Yeah, that's um, 
yeah, he's yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like he said, it is uh was too uh, was totally different. I agree because like uh it's like seemed like Nas is it's still the same Nas from back in um what was it ninety four or whatever it was like already uh, to my we saw Red or he's with Red Man too. <clears throat> Red Man is the same Red Man <clears throat> from um from early nineties. So yeah, he said Jay was um hmm. But like, if you see uh, uh, Nas or Red on the street, you know, long as you ain't, you ain't no <clears throat> obsessed fan, they probably talk to you. Okay. So, you know, some <laughs> some fans get get carried with that, and that's why they they say that uh, some of the uh, people had a security guard, not because they're scared they have security guards, because some fans won't take uh, no for an answer, and they, and they and they don't know how to chill out. <laughs> so they meeting people, they go up to acting, you know, going crazy. So. But yeah, it seemed like Nas has <clears throat> been Nas since 94. Same dude, seemed like um, real cool dude. 